Hey everyone, what's up? This is Mike. I thought it'd be cool to do a video on how to create your own LPs, or Let's Plays as they're called. All an LP is is when someone records themselves playing a game. Uh, they usually make a series of videos, upload them to something like YouTube for people to watch, and they usually provide useful or funny commentary, or maybe they just do a walkthrough or a speedrun. So I'm going to break up this video into multiple sections, so let's go to the first section here. First up, I just want to talk about my PC specs a bit. I'm running on Windows XP Pro. I have a quad-core processor. My video card is a GeForce 9800 GT with 512 megabytes of video RAM. I have 3 gigs of RAM. For my sound card, I use a Sound Blaster Audigy 2 ZS sound card. For my headset, I bought a $35 Logitech headset from Best Buy. Um, I think it's a stereo headset and it's also analog so it's not USB so it has the two 3.5 millimeter jacks on the end of it and the reason I chose an analog headset was because I was running into issues with doing LPs with a USB headset so for technical reasons and for um, configuring uh, audio and the headset for doing let's plays I found the analog to be a bit better supported so let's go to the next section. Okay, so the recording software that I use is Fraps. I think it's really easy to use and it hasn't failed me yet, so... We're gonna look at the Movies tab. First option, folder to save movies in. I use my alternate hard drive. So I play all my games on my C drive and record all my movies to my D drive, which is supposedly uh, supposed to help performance a little bit. The video capture hotkey, make that something that you're not going to hit uh, too frequently while playing, so F12 works pretty good. Video capture settings, I record at 30 frames per second, which gives a uh, smooth playback, but it doesn't bloat the video or make it too large on the hard drive while you're recording. I have a uh, half size selected, so that cuts the size of the videos in half, as well as halves the resolution. And I usually record most games at say for example 1680 by 1050 so half sizing the resolution still uh, gives me lots of headroom for the 640 by 360 169 uh, aspect ratio videos that I upload to YouTube and it only uh, stretches them a little bit after you um, change the resolution from the initial AVI files that Fraps records to the say mp4 files that I use to upload to YouTube and as mentioned uh, Fraps record records in AVI format which is uncompressed so do a bit of trial and error when you first record because uh, it can eat up a lot of hard drive space so if you're playing for 30 minutes you'd be surprised how much uh, hard drive space these videos can eat up so maybe try like 10 minutes at first and check out your videos and see how you like them and you'll find your own system. I have a lock frame rate selected here, record sound selected, um, detect best sound input selected, uh, what you hear. That's important if um, you're recording with a microphone and you want to record the game sounds as well and I'll get into that later. And these three options I just leave unselected. Um, especially this one, don't sync audio and video. So that's it for this section, let's go on to the next section. Alright guys, next up is sound and volume settings. So let's go to our taskbar and double click on volume. Let's zoom in on this here. This will give us our playback controls. So you can see uh, uh, my wave and microphone volume settings here. I, uh, wave will kind of control your um, game volume and sounds and the microphone will control the audio input from your voice so usually I find one will outweigh the other depending on your other configurations your sound card your headset and everything so you might have to play with these two options a bit um, to get a nice balance between your voice and the game volume so I usually have my microphone a little bit up because I find um, the game volume will um, kind of wash out my voice a little bit. 
and let's zoom out here. Those are the main options that you need to be concerned with here. Op go to Options Properties. Let's zoom in here and we're going to select Recording instead of Playback. Um, make sure you have what you hear selected here. It might be called Stereo Mix. That all depends on your sound hardware or software and whether you have an uh, integrated sound card with your motherboard or a separate sound card like a Sound Blaster card, etc. Let's go back here. Click OK while recording is selected. This will give us our recording volume controls. The main thing here is the what you hear section here. Make sure that's selected. Right now my microphone's selected just because I'm um, just for this tutorial, but usually I have what you hear selected in the bottom left there. Just check that checkbox and that kind of syncs up with the what you hear option in Fraps. So just make sure that's selected and Fraps what you hear is selected as well. That's pretty much for the sound and volume controls. Let's go to the next section. Okay, now you've probably got some videos that Fraps has recorded for you in AVI format. What you usually want to do is stitch these together to form one final video that you're going to upload to YouTube. I use a program called AVI Demux or AVI Demu. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I think it's AVI Demux anyways. <laughs> or you could use a program also called uh, Windows Movie Maker, which most of you have heard of. Um, that's a good program as well. It encodes to the WMV format, which is a compressed format for videos, which works quite well for YouTube. It offers a pretty good compression. It's pretty fast and um, it looks quite nice. But I use the MP4 format myself and I use AVI Demux to encode to MP4 format. Uh, but I still use Windows Movie Maker to do things like um, stitch certain uh, clips together in AVI format and to maybe subtitle them and add different effects like uh, tran transition screens and fade, fade in and fade out effects as well. It's really good for that. So you can use like Windows Movie Maker to do those effects, export it as an uncompressed file, AVI format, and then use AVI Demux to do the final, final encoding to MP4, for example. So we're going to drag and drop our clips into this program here. And do them in order, the order which we want to stitch them all together. So they're going to play as one big video now. Alright, so now we're ready to encode our video. Go to Video here. Click the drop-down box. These are all the different formats to which you can encode your video. Um, I usually encode to MPEG4 AVC. So select that and go to configure. As you can see, there's many different options here. You won't need to concern yourself with most of them. The main options that you want to concern yourself with are in the general tab here. Under encoding mode, select um, constant bitrate single pass. It's the first option. And you can see here, you can select your target bitrate. Um, you can make that something like 1024. It usually works quite well and it produces relatively small videos that look quite nice. Or you can go up to 4096, for example which will give you higher quality videos, but they're going to be larger videos that are going to take longer to upload to YouTube. So it all depends on the video content, how it's going to look, um, how long it's going to take to compress, and also how long you want to wait to, for it to upload to YouTube as well. So just play around with those settings a bit and see what, uh, which value works best for you. You can also select under encoding mode average bitrate to pass. And again, you can select your bitrate. Um, both options give uh, different quality control on your videos. 
and they're going to take different amounts of time to encode as well. So again, play with those options. I don't know a lot of the technical details behind those options, but experiment and see what uh, produces the best results for you. Okay, let's click OK here. Okay, now we're going to go to Filters below Configure on the left here. We're going to click that. Um, one thing you might want to do is change the aspect ratio of your video. So change the sizing and shape of your video from a previous resolution. So if we look under Transform here, and we want to select M Player Resize right here. So we're going to select that. And we're going to click the little plus icon down here. And it's going to give us some options. I usually unclick lock aspect ratio here. Because usually if I'm resizing, it's usually going to be a different aspect ratio. So say I was going to upload a video to YouTube. It might be 640 by 360, for example, which is a widescreen format that YouTube uh, accepts. I don't usually encode high def videos, at least not at the moment, but if you want to you can look at the specs um, on YouTube's website. I believe it's it might be like 1280 by 720 resolution or something like that. But again, you're going to get larger videos that are going to take more time to encode and upload to YouTube, so you can use high def if you really need it, but if you don't, I find 640 by 360 works quite well if you need to resize. And under the resize method, choose lands cost 3. Um, the, I've read a few online tutorials and they seem to recommend that resize method. And I've seen good results with it, so I use that. Click OK. And click close once we've done that. So that filter will be, access, um, will be uh, active now when we encode this video. Just a note, because I mentioned high def, um, if you're going to do high definition videos, just make sure that your uncompressed original videos are equal or higher resolution than the high def video to which you want to encode to, so you don't notice any further quality loss. Okay, next thing we should look at is the audio option here. Right here. Click the drop down box, and I use AAC. Select that and go to configure and it allows you to select the bit right here. I find 128 works fine for me, so I'll click OK there. I don't use any filters for this at the moment. Um, next thing we want to select is format down here. Click the drop down box and select MP4. And now we're ready to encode. So click the Save Video little icon up here in the taskbar. Save it to your desktop, for example. And I usually just give it the extension uh, for the container automatically. So I'll add .mp4 onto the end of the video. And click Save. And now it will start encoding. It might take a while for large videos. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my uh, guide on how I do my LPs. Everyone does them a little differently, so I hope this guide has helped you in some way or the other. And good luck, guys. See you later.